Good morning and hope you all have been well. In today's video, we are going to be continuing on with our Eve Let's Play, and this is part 8 of the Let's Play, just to let you guys know. Uh, so yeah, so I guess with that we shall continue on. Hard, but there's treasure. Easy, but there's nothing. Treasure. I guess we'll go with hard. I don't think it'll be that bad. I guess we can't really go back. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Oh, so we just gotta be careful and dodge a few stuff. There's something here. Obtain the diamond. A diamond? Is this the treasure it was talking about? Excuse me, but could I take a look at that? Ah, the diamond shattered. Ah, well, I knew it couldn't have been real, of course. Really, I did. Oh, I guess we can't go back at all completely. Again, hopefully we didn't miss anything. I don't think I would have, but it's always possible. Uh, well, now this is a stark change of mood. No reason not to remain cautious, though. Let's go, Eve. A tulip. I guess there's a save here, so we'll go on ahead and save. Uh, there's something posted up here. I guess that's a map of some sort. Oh, well, Gary says that there. Is this a map of the area? We seem to be in the bottom right currently. Let's take a closer look at any points of interest, shall we? So this is the entrance area. So I assume we came from here then. A tulip area. Big lake area. Flower garden area. Center area. Farm area. Butterfly area. Fruit tree area. And pudding area. Okay. I will say this actually does look quite a bit different than the original from what I remember. Also, keep in mind, it's been about like a year or two since I have played the original uh, Eve game, so I might be wrong, but from what I can tell, this does seem quite a bit different uh, than the original. Still very cool to see. So I guess there's Eve there, Gary there, some horses or ponies, however you would like to word it. Uh, Mary there, and then the doll there. So this must be the butterfly area. Oh, wrong button, sorry. Yeah, butterfly park. Um, I'm gonna try not touching them just in case. I guess this guy just wants to keep going down that way. Oh, it's gonna turn around, I assume. I guess I can't really just keep going down that way. So this must be the... What, the fruit area? It was something like that. Some apple trees, oranges, lemons. Peaches, question mark? And then I guess those are grapes in the back. There's writing on the door. There's a note on the yellow building. Read it to open this door. Such a kind message. So kind that it feels suspicious. Nah, not at all. Totally not suspicious. Everything's going to be fine. There couldn't be anything terrible that's going to happen soon. No way. Oh well. I guess there's Eve there hanging uh, by her foot. Eve, what is it? Did something happen? Gary doesn't seem to see it. Oof. The toy key always goes back in the toy box. The toy box. I suppose there's a key there. If we find the toy box, shall we search for the key while we're here? There was a sound from over there. 
Oh, I thought that was literally the key on the door that you could just take. I guess not. Uh, but before we check out that noise, I kind of want to explore a little bit. Okay. Let me save again. There are fish swimming around. A tulip. Why hasn't this one bloomed, I wonder? A pond. Touch the water, stare into the water. I'm gonna do nothing for now. It's probably safe to leave that all alone. Something sort of like a mushroom. I have to say, I've never seen a mushroom this gaudy before. I have no clue what gaudy means, or if I'm even pronouncing it right. I guess I'll learn something today. Gaudy. Something bright or showy, typically so as to be tasteless. Gotcha. Okay. And sorry if I'm pronouncing that word wrong. A mushroom. A mushroom. This mushroom looks quite poisonous. It's the kind you see in storybooks, though. What do you suppose that is? Fallen leaves, a squirrel, I don't know. I would assume a squirrel. Because it looks like a squirrel the orange thing there. And then just some acorns around it. It doesn't really look like leaves to me. A squirrel. Oh, then is it holding an acorn? Now that you say that, I can see how it could be a squirrel. I'm not sure if that really did anything, but I guess we'll find out. There are stars shining above. The path has been scribbled with black. Hmm, I don't get the logistics of it, but it seems we can't walk on the black areas here. There's no keyhole. This door must open some other way. Guess there's the sun there. And what is that? I think it said this was like the pudding area. It was something like that. I guess I'll double check real quick. Right? Yeah, pudding area. I don't know why I went to confirm that, I just wanted to. Alright, so let's continue. Let's go in here. I guess this is a coat hanger. A coat hanger. There's a window, but you can't see outside. Some sort of red fruit. I guess we'll go over to this box over here. A bucket you could carry around. Um... I'm sure it'll benefit us somehow. When you need to wake up, it's good to get some sunlight. That's got to be like a riddle or a hint, probably where that one son was. Oh, hey Mary. Eve, Gary, where are you? Don't tell me, was that? She's after us. Big bro moment. Oh, that's right. Wasn't there... Yeah, right here. It's warm in the sunlight. Yeah, let's stand around for a bit. Maybe that's what open up... What open up... What opens up the door, sorry. Eve, it's nice to get some sun, but we've got to go. Or we might not get to see the real sun again. I guess that's not it. Well, there were other options. 
Uh, look at the pudding. A giant pudding on a plate. Have you ever wanted to take a bite of a giant serving of food like that? Honestly, no. Because I really don't eat a lot at all. But, we'll go if I have. I knew it, who wouldn't write? When I was about your age, I had such a hankering for this giant cake from a storybook. I wanted to get on top and eat the cake at my feet, then dive into a sea of juice and swim around. Uh, talk to Gary. Eve, you're holding on to your rose, right? Make sure you don't lose it and don't even think about giving it to anyone else. Although, I still wonder, why roses? Come to think of it, I did see a large rose sculpture in the gallery. I wonder if there is a connection there. I wonder if there if there's any different interactions. I guess not. Uh, Eve, it's nice to get some sun. Okay. They say... Uh, I guess there is something different here. Uh, they say that good art stands on its own, but when it comes to this place, I'd rather it not stand on its own if you catch my drift. You know, as far as we've managed to come, aren't we headed underground? All the stairs go down. Are you sure we want to? Sorry, Eve, I didn't mean to make you anxious. Forget I said it, okay? Say, Eve, have you heard of macarons? Or macarons? However you pronounce that? They're these sweet, shaped like burgers. And just the other day, I found this cafe with macarons that were so tasty. They were really, really good. The cream wasn't too sweet either. So, well, if we manage to get out of here, could we go together? Actually, scratch that. We will go there together, and we will get out of here. Promise. I guess I'll stop there for now. That might be just a way to get up some friendship points with Gary. Not that that's a bad thing, but let's search around and see if we can find out what to do. So there's that there. There's some fish there. Um, well there's blue tracks there. Hmm. What if we interact with the butterfly? I guess nothing bad happens. Hmm. Wasn't there fruit on this tree? I think it actually went missing. Unless I'm going crazy, which is very possible. Um, let's go to the bird then, or I guess the swan or duck. I'm not really sure what it is. Oh, here we go. This is a new option. Uh, fill the bucket with water. But then what? Maybe the tulip? Eve, are you thinking of watering this tulip? It might make it bloom. I mean, it seems logical. I don't see why that really hurts anything. I see, well, it's worth a shot. The tulip bloomed. Hmm, there's something inside of it. Obtain the little mirror. Hmm. I'm gonna do nothing for now. I'm afraid the bird's gonna like attack us or something like that. And then we start losing our roses. Or rose petals or the vines. However you would like to word it. So there's the butterfly there. Hmm. Oh, 
What would the mirror do, though? Fish swimming around. That's still locked. I don't think going back in here would do anything. Maybe the sun? Here we go. Point the mirror toward the door. I see. You use the mirror to reflect the sunlight. Not too shabby. Before I go in there, just in case if some dumb stuff happens, uh, let me save. Just in case. And what are we at? About 16 minutes close to it. Now we're at 16. Um, we'll go a little bit longer. Okay, this looks a lot different than the original original version that I remember, but I think it's actually the same puzzle. Either way, I don't really remember how to do this. But I'm sure I'll find out what to do. Uh, can you solve this puzzle? Make one wrong move and you will be punished. Hmm. So what, do you just do it in order? Right? Because this is where the farm area is. Um, the mushroom was this corner. I guess that's a cherry. Cherry was there. Sun was there. Fish was there. Star was there. Yeah, foot was here. Butterfly was there. There's something on the ground. Obtain the pink crayon. I don't know why. I remember this puzzle being more difficult within the old version. Maybe it wasn't, actually. I don't know why. I remember it being more complex than that. Then again, like I've said before, I, I could be wrong. So we got the prink, pink, not prink, sorry. I don't even think prink is a word. Uh, the pink crayon. So what does that do? There's that there. That there. So that doesn't... Maybe this? No. But there's the footprints there. Hmm. This seems a little bit darker, but I mean, I'm clicking the A button. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. This. Here we go. Scribbling all over this is surprisingly tiring. Now that the ground is colored, it seems you can pass. If there's a toy box anywhere, this is the only place left for it. Well, before that, let me save here. I guess there's a pool or something there. 
So let me save here. A toy box. So this is the toy box. It's rather big, but any but at any rate, sorry. It said the toy key was in there. Um, I can't see the bottom. Is there really a key in there, I wonder? Wanna see? Oof. Well, that's a bro moment. Oof. You don't have your red rose. Oof, we gotta get that then. And Gary isn't here either. As much as I love Gary, from what I remember, the red rose needs to be a priority. Well, there's a key there. But where's my red rose? Um... Oh, here we go. The fall seems to have knocked off a number of petals. We'll save here and let me keep the... I'm gonna leave this one alone just in case, so we'll just do that one. But I guess we're looking for Gary here. That's not Gary. Oh, here we go. Oof. Ow, I hit my head. Eve, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, that's good. At any rate... This place is covered in all these bizarre scribbles. Is this the toy box? We fell from the upper floor after she pushed us. Anyway, the toy key was it. We better find that and get on out. Oh, you've already found the toy key. Well done. Then let's find the exit at once. Oh. What? I don't like this. I feel like something like this has happened before. Oh. You would be correct, uh, Gary. What's with these things, Eve? Let's hurry towards the exit. Well, where's the exit? Oh, here? I, I just picked a spot. I hope this isn't like some dead end or something. It doesn't seem like it though. Is this the room where the toy box was? I guess there's a save point here. I'll do this one. And I guess one more just for safe measures. But I guess with that then, I think this is probably a good spot to end today's episode. And if I'm not mistaken, next episode may potentially be the final episode of Eve. So, yeah. I do want to say this as well before uh, ending the video. I do ask for the final episode that you watch towards the end of the video, mainly because I will be going through um, a list of RPG um, horror and RPG style of games that are similar to Eve. Since we're about to be done, I'm going to be going through what we will potentially get into next. And, it, and if you guys would like to give me some of your recommendations and stuff like that, that would be greatly appreciated but again i have a list of what i have planned out and i would like to know what you guys think and feel so yeah and if i don't get any comments there are a few games that are more high up on my list that i want to play next so if i don't really get anything i'll probably end up just choosing one of those then and then we'll just continue on uh with the rpg uh horror and rpg style of games that are similar to eve i guess like 2d pixel rpg games i guess that's a genre that you would call this i'm not really sure to be honest since i'm not smart with uh, game genres and stuff like that uh, but i guess before i become more cringe let's leave it at that 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good morning.